Hello guys, how are you? Good evening. Good afternoon. Actually, it's afternoon. What the? Did I say evening? Yes, sir. Okay, so good afternoon, guys. November 17, 2020, right? Hello, hello, low, 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 and low. So today, guys, if you couldn't be with us in the class, uh, we worked, we started working on the language section. So I would like you to go to grammar, language, the yellow section. So we worked on pages 75 and 76. So I would like you to go there, please. There you are going to find this page is going to be this one, right? So look at here where you have the monkey and stuff, you know, so the koala, I'm sorry. And here, <clears throat> read each of the nouns below, then write whether the noun is countable or uncountable. So here, what do you think? You need to write, oh, I can count love, yes or no, right? Les puedo contar el amor, sí o no. ¿Puedo contar las estrellas? Yes, entonces escribes aquí, si lo puedo contar, no lo puedo contar. Recuerda que habíamos hablado en la clase pasada de que los que se contaban eran los, las cosas grandes, una manzana, una sandía, no una persona, dos sillas, pero no el arroz, ni el líquido, ni las cosas de harina, ¿no? O sea, todo ese tipo de cosas no se pueden contar, como no puedo contar, dame dos arroces, o dame tres frijoles, ¿no? Pedimos por unidad, kilo, medio kilo. Entonces, después de ahí, uh, for then, you already answered this. Read this information. Countable nouns can be used with an exact number or a quantifier. So, countable nouns, los puedo usar con un número exacto. Tres sillas, cuatro sillas, cinco sillas, ¿no? O con un medidor. Quantifiers, aquí dice, los medidores son adjetivos que nos dicen la cantidad sin usar el número exacto. Tales como many, several, or some. Muchos, varios, o algunos, ¿no? Yo puedo decir, ah, tengo varias sillas. O puedo decir, tengo 32 sillas, ¿no? Pero si no me sé el número exacto, pues utilizo estos. Ejemplo, there were 16 koalas in the zoo. There were several koalas in the zoo, right? Uh, I don't know how many, so I just say several, right? So, I saw 21 turtles while diving. I saw many sea turtles while diving, right? So, here you use 21, you replace it with many, right? Entonces, aquí es como le pones, varios, muchos. Pues dependiendo cómo lo veas tú, right? And uncountable nouns can't use an exact number. So they can only use quantifiers like some, enough, any, or much. Much is only used with uncountable nouns. Any used with the negative and will often appear with the word not. So this is the grammar. And you will need to answer this page, right? Okay, guys, and then we went to Steam. On Steam, we worked on pages 141 and 143. So go there, go to Steam. Pages 141 and 143. Let me go there. So I'm here. Look, the throwing challenge, right? So we're going to read about the throwing challenge. El reto de lanzar. ¿Quién avienta más lejos un objeto? Right? So this is what we read today. Read the following text. So this one I would like you to read it out loud in front of a, in front of a mirror, right? Let's just lay it in voz alta, in front of a espejo. Cierto, entonces ahí lo leen y para que practiquen pronunciación. And then you are going to answer this, the drawing challenge, right? So answer the questions. These questions are about the reading. This one. Entonces estas preguntas son referentes a la lectura. Lee la lectura primero en voz alta, ya sabes, en frente de un espejo o lees el alguien para que practiques tu pronunciación. All right, so, so this is it. This is it. This is what you're going to do in Steam. And then... And then I thank you for coming and watching the video and doing your homework, right? You're great. Gracias por haber venido el video, realizar tu trabajo. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great evening.